Greetings everyone, I am Lord Malvern, and welcome back to my Europa Universalis 4 campaign, Vive Le Blob. Alright. So, in our last video, we discovered that uh, attacking an uh, Irish miner first thing uh, might not be the best, uh, best plan. <clears throat> so I'm thinking we should stick to, uh, to some place around, uh, in our in our main house here let's uh let's see what kind of advisors we have we do have a better relations over time man i think we want him even though he's going to cost us uh four decades a month should be pretty costly for us at this stage it's going to be worth it we're going to have uh these guys protect trade in bordeaux And, uh, I think, uh, I think we're gonna start off by... Yes, we, we're gonna have to fabricate claims on Brittany, I believe. Would be a, a good, uh, good first action. And go to war with them. Now, why Brittany instead of Provence? Well, dear, uh, dear viewer, that is, uh, because... Right now, Provence is allied with Austria, which, uh, which might uh, complicate things a little bit. And Burgundy's allied with Castile. So there, there are uh, those are two powers we really uh, would rather not face. Uh, on our on our own here. So let's see here. If we were to, we don't have a uh, cast spell against uh, Burgundy, right? No. Yep. So none of our allies would come come to our aid or anything like that. Okay. So why don't we uh, go ahead? And start fabricating claims on Brittany here in Nantes. Be fine. And we're gonna just uh, absorb as much as we can off of Brittany. Gonna have plenty of men. It's not the issue. We should uh, we should make sure to. Create new units. Go ahead and that going. Select this guy. Give him the one with uh, superior maneuverability. This guy over here. Um, that was superior siege. Yes, against. Uh, Brittany, who has no allies, have no problems at all. Okay, now that we actually have a uh, Cassus Belly against Burgundy, let's see who would actually come in on the war if we were to declare war on them. Nobody. Yes, that's uh, that was something I was afraid of. What about uh, Provence? Uh, Provence has not, uh, has not done anything of the sort yet. Provoke us. Okay, so why don't we, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh, accept a royal marriage from, from you guys. Uh, probably not gonna do too much with Scotland here. I had to guess. We really want to strengthen our, uh, French French holdings, I believe, before we expand farther north. Brittany is a fine way of doing so. So we will do it. Alright. Oh, let's see here. Now who uh are our current uh Okay, so we're guaranteeing Scotland. We got Royal marriages and alliances with Aragon, Portugal, and Savoy. 
Steel was not interested in aligning with us because of their opinion of us. They're not willing to royal marry with us because of their neutral opinion of us. Okay, so. Yeah, and they uh, were... We got too much going on. Too much bad blood, really. And they rivaled us, so. Can't really do anything about that. Uh, let's see here. Who are Austria's enemies? Lithuania, Burgundy, Aragon. Okay, well, Lithuania might be a good ally, then. If they would accept us. Which, uh, uh, doesn't look likely. We'll have to expand farther into Scandinavia and whatnot before we'll be able to do anything with them. Speaking of which, we're... Our allies are Lithuanian Order and Poland. Alright. Livonian Order. Excuse me. Okay. On we go. Go ahead and uh, group these guys together. Oh, uh, let's see here. I'm going to send these guys farther south and we are going to uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, disable these forts down south here we don't really need to keep them up uh, we've been discovered fabricating claims that's uh, that's not gonna be very helpful for us we're still losing a bit of money so we're not gonna really expand eastward either so we'll go ahead and disable that one. Now, hopefully, uh, none of our rivals will actually come out and attack us, which reminds me, should uh, be issuing embargoes on England. Burgundy. And, uh, let's see here, Provence. There we go. Let's make sure these are set to go home at war as well. Go home at war. Alright. Okay, so what else could we be doing while we are waiting for this to happen? Let's see here. Our current mission... England must be driven from France. Well... Yeah, we, we'd like to work on that, of course. Okay, England has allied a couple of Irish miners. That's, uh... Weird. Perfectly honest. They don't have any, any mainland allies. If they were to declare war on England, nobody would join in, really. Attitude toward enemies, defensive attitude toward France. These these guys are absolutely worthless. Well, we're off to a great start right now, aren't we? Three completely worthless allies. Unwilling to attack England. Navarra. Our perennial favorite for vassalization. Hmm. I'd rather not do too much about them. 
Disputed su succession. Hmm. Okay, so we got... England. Interesting. Scotland has no legal heir. We're going to have to do a royal marriage with them. They must have more prestige than they do. Do not have the same ruling dynasty as them. Okay. Alright, so we've already... Sort of sealed in possibility of a of a Valois taking the uh, Scottish throne. I'm not going to spend any more on advisors right now. Our relations over time, guys. All we really needed. Let's see here. So we uh, need to be doing something else, though. We could uh, we could be approving relations with the Pope. That's always a good good uh, good person to have on your side. There be diplomatic relations, general shenanigans, or whatnot. All right, so so we are going to go for Brittany, and then as soon as we uh, are done coring. All of Brittany. And go after uh, the Ires. The land of the Ire. Or Ire. Excuse me. I don't I don't think the Irish ever called themselves the people of the Ire. I could be completely mistaken on that, of course. Okay, our claims are fabricating. Oh, well, looks like uh, Sweden is uh, breaking free here. They're allied with Scotland and Novorod. They are currently winning their war, of course, just by just barely. All right. We're just about there. There we go. Big Nantes. Declare war. Aragon would join in. Okay. Go ahead and uh, move our guys forward. These guys to the first fort. These guys. the back here. Yeah, we just lost, uh... Oh, good. We just lost our trade ships. Fantastic. Well... I suppose that is to be expected. We will we will take the low for local fortifications. That sounds like a good one. I 
It appears our invasion are, is the, uh, the least of uh, Brittany's worries at the moment. If you'd be so kind, could you take care of them? Thank you. Alright, this should be a fairly quick and easy war, I would say. Uh, England has the War of the Roses event firing, and they chose the House of York. Scotland still does not have an heir. That's too bad we can't uh, speed up the process somehow. But this isn't Crusader Kings 2, I'm afraid. Okay, so... Well, all this craziness is going on, we should be doing... Something else, like, uh... Eh. Oh, we can't ally the Pope right now. Of course not, that wouldn't be politically expedient, I'm sure. Excuse me, we've already almost reached the point where, uh... We can invest in our, uh... in our papal influence. How's the Holy Roman Empire looking? So Brandenburg. Interesting. Right now it looks like either Brandenburg or, Bo or Bohemia is poised to uh, become emperor. What are your reasons for... It wouldn't vote for me because I'm not a member of the HRE. Oh, uh, let's see here. Well, I suppose that's good to know. Not sure I, I want to play the HRE game with uh, with France here. I know it's certainly possible for me to become the Emperor. If I were to do that, I would uh, I would definitely uh, go to war with Burgundy and get all their juicy land. If I could, with the Burgundian inheritance. But I don't think it is likely. We would have to be get uh, really friendly with somebody. And I think we would also have to be kind of buddy-buddy with the Emperor, wouldn't we? Which, uh, we are most certainly not. Let's go ahead and uh, invest our influence. On the Siege of Nantes. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, do our nice little full annexation here. Also some Diplo power. That's fine. Give us all your money as well. We'll need it. These powers might join in a coalition against France. I find that unlikely. Now, oh, let's see here. How much would it cost us to actually 
uh, Vassalize. Uh, some of the rest of us. Okay, we could, uh, could potentially vassalize it instead. Uh, that might, let's see here. That might be better for us. And I think about it. <clears throat> Certainly not going to give us as big of a aggressive expansion penalty it will cost us cost us some uh, aggressive expansion of course and it will cost us a slot in our diplomatic relations but you know I I think uh, I think we want to keep our aggressive expansion kind of down I think, I think this is this is suitable We'll go ahead and vassalize Brittany. Except there. Generous peace offer. We lost Barry. As. And I start off with a negative two. That's 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 good. That's that's a that's a good start, I'd say. And uh that I am going to take a break here. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to click on the like button as it does help out the channel. And of course, please subscribe for future updates. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care.